is the first waitress in Turkey's first ever robot cafe, Jade Mera, built here in Konya. Now, why are we here? Well, because this is a city which was previously largely agricultural. It was seen as the breadbasket of Turkey. But over the last 12 years, this city has seen incredible rapid industrialization and economic growth. And this is just one, albeit slightly odd, example of how this city has developed massively in the last 12 years under the conservative AK party government. And it's one of the reasons why this city is such a stronghold of the AK party. Ada is moving her way slowly along here. Uh, another reason uh, for the big support for the AK party here in Konya, which we've been hearing about, is that this is a very, very traditional, very religious, very conservative city. And for the Islamist-rooted AK party government, it has huge support here in Konya. Let's take a seat with my colleague, Selim Dirik, from the East Turkish Service, as Ada arrives soon. <laughs> moves at 30 centimetres a minute, which is rather like me after a day of live broadcasting. <laughs> um, so, just tell me, uh, we've had five days here in Konya. Uh, it's, it's our first time here. Um, you, you grew up in Istanbul. Uh, how have you been um, surprised by Konya? What have been your impressions here? Actually, it's my first time in this city as well. I was born in Istanbul, I grew up in Istanbul, but I never had, had the chance to come to Konya and see it for myself. Uh, when you live on the west uh, of Turkey, you have different impressions of how the central Anatolian towns look like. And I have to say, I am rather surprised uh, because I was I knew that Konya was conservative, and it is conservative, but I saw old men cycling in the towns, I saw a lot of women presence on the streets, with their scarves or without. And uh, I have to say, it is much more re much relaxed than many people in the west would think. Thank you very much indeed. So the industrialization and growth here in Konya, uh, which uh, Anna shows so very well, uh, one of the big reasons why the AKP is so popular here. But of course in Izmir, as you mentioned, Karen, at the start, a very different picture, opposition stronghold there. And as, we, as you said, we'll be in Diyarbakir next, the Kurdish heartland in the southeastern Turkey. Follow us on uh, Twitter, hashtag BBCTurkey15. Uh, you can also uh, WhatsApp us, plus 90535-076-3939. Send in your comments and thoughts uh, and come join us along the way as a man of the